Teclopidine. Today we will discuss the drug Teclopidine, most commonly referred to by its brand name Teclid. It is often prescribed after a recent stroke or heart attack and for people that have disorders of the blood vessels or heart to prevent another stroke or heart attack. Mechanism of Action Teclid is a platelet aggregation inhibitor, or is simply known as an antiplatelet. Platelets are the blood cells that bind together to form blood clots. Platelet cells bind together and sometimes they form a harmful clot and block blood flow to vital organs, like the heart and brain. Ticlid works by thinning the blood, thus helping to reduce the formation of clots thus reducing the risk of stroke or heart attack. This oral drug is often prescribed in combination with aspirin for people with coronary stents and an artery to prevent a blood clot from forming in the stent lumen that might impede blood flow through the artery. As blood circulates through the vessels, the biconvex disc-shaped platelets flow marginally along the vessel wall, well positioned to monitor the integrity of the endothelium which is the inner lining of the blood vessel. Normally, endothelium is a non-adhesive surface for platelets. However, if a vessel wall injury occurs, such as cuts or punctures, with endothelial damage, the first step of a clot formation will then be initiated through the exposure of the sub-endothelium molecules such as collagen, a thrombetic component. Platelets will bind to collagen through specific receptor sites in the platelet membrane. The change of the shape of platelets from its resting phase into a dendritic form indicates activation. Activated platelets release prothrombotic molecules known as adenosine diphosphate commonly abbreviated as ADP, which binds to a specific receptor site including platelet aggregation, promoting more activation and recruitment of platelets into the site and thus the formation of a blood clot. A portion of this formed blood clot can break off and travel into the circulation. The traveling clot may be lodged in a blood vessel in the brain or in the artery of the heart. If this happens, the clot may block the blood supply to a portion of the brain or heart, which may eventually lead to a life-threatening condition such as a stroke or heart attack. To prevent such circumstances, Ticlid is prescribed to inhibit the ability of platelets to form unwanted blood clots in certain heart or vessel conditions by preventing ADP from binding to its platelet receptor site, making the blood less likely to clot, reducing the likelihood of stroke or heart attack in individuals who are at risk. Contraindications Ticlid is contraindicated with individuals who have a known hypersensitivity to the drug, clients with hemopoietic conditions such as neutropenia and thrombotic cytopenia, or aplastic anemia, hemostatic disorders, or active pathological bleeding such as bleeding peptic ulcer or intracranial bleeding, or clients suffering from liver impairment. Side effects. There are some undesirable side effects associated with Ticlid, although not all of these side effects may happen. On the off chance that they do happen, the client may need medical attention. Ticlid has reportedly been associated infrequently with serious and or life-threatening blood disorders such as neutropenia, agranulocytosis, which is a deficiency of white blood cells which fight infections, and thrombotic thrombocytopenia purpura, which is abbreviated as TTP, which is a blood disorder that causes blood clots to form in small blood vessels around the body. This leads to low platelet count. If these manifestations happen, it is usually within the first few days of taking the drug. As your patient's nurse, you should alert the Ticlid user to stop taking Ticlid and to contact their physician right away in the event that he develops any of the following serious side effects. Nosebleeds or other bleeding that will not stop, coughing up blood or vomit that looks like coffee ground emesis, sudden headache, confusion, problems with vision, speech, or balance, signs of infection such as fever, chills, sore throat, flu symptoms, mouth sores, chest pain or heavy feeling, pain spreading through the arms or shoulders, nausea, sweating, and a general ill feeling, black, bloody, or tarry stools, sudden numbness or weakness, especially on one side of the body, pale skin, easy bruising or bleeding, weakness, fever, and urinating less or more than usual. 
Nausea, stomach pain, low-grade fever, loss of appetite, dark urine, clay-colored stools, jaundice, yellowing of the eyes or skin. Less serious side effects may include diarrhea, dizziness, upset stomach, nausea or vomiting, drug interaction. There are over 300 medications that interact with Ticlid. These medications may lessen or increase the effect of Ticlid and may aggravate the risk for serious side effects, such as bleeding. Some of these medications include aspirin, coumadin, heparin, lovenox, plavix, ibuprofen, naproxen, diclofenac, itodolac, antacids, digoxin, theophylline, and dilantin. Keep in mind that the list above is only a partial list, and it is a must that you inform your client that he or she should always have a list of all the medications that he is taking, which includes prescription and non-prescription drugs, and also herbal products, and to make it available to his health practitioner to review for safety purposes during their visit. Precautions. Tell your client, before beginning Ticlid, the nurse should encourage the patient to let your doctor know if he has the following issues. If applicable, a known allergy to Ticlid and other medications or its components, prescription and non-prescription medications, vitamins, nutritional supplements, and herbal products that the client is taking, especially antacids, anticoagulants, and digoxin. The doctor may have to alter those doses of the medication or monitor the client carefully for adverse reactions. Liver disease, bleeding disorders, bleeding ulcers, low blood count, neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, kidney disease, high blood cholesterol or blood fats, pregnant or planning to become pregnant, and breastfeeding. All of these people having surgery, including dental surgery, so it is a must that your healthcare practitioner knows all of the situations above, the doctor may advise the client to stop taking Ticlid 10 to 14 days before the procedure. Other considerations. If taking antacids like Maalox or Mylanta, it should be taken one hour before or two hours after taking Ticlid. While on Ticlid, the client should avoid any sports or activities that may cause bruising or bleeding. Extra caution should be observed when brushing teeth and shaving. Alcohol consumption should be avoided while on Ticlid because it may increase the risk of intestinal or stomach bleeding. It should be taken with food to minimize gastric upset and with a full glass of water. It should be stored at room temperature and away from direct sunlight and moisture. It is very important to take the medication exactly as prescribed and encourage the client to carefully read and follow the instructions. Individuals who are taking the medication should undergo a blood test before treatment is started. Blood tests should be done every two weeks for the initial three months of treatment because side effects are less likely to occur after three months. These blood tests will help discover whether certain side effects are occurring that may be an indication of a serious condition brought about by taking Ticlid. Finding these symptoms earlier may help prevent the undesired side effects from becoming serious. In summary, Ticlid is an antiplatelet drug and should be used only under strict guidance by a medical professional, as it may present some risk and side effects. It has become a great alternative for clients that are allergic to aspirin. Ticlid affects blood clotting which has been proven to be beneficial in the prevention of stroke or heart attack for many persons. Some physicians prefer to use Plavix due to lower serious side effects. However, most of the risk and side effects of Ticlid are manageable with careful attention, and for many, the benefits will outweigh the risk. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that presentation. Stay tuned because in the next few hours or days, or if you're watching this after it's been posted for a while, we are going to be reviewing questions. So if you're watching this maybe a week or two weeks or a year later, then just let the video play because we're going to be creating a playlist. So all of the questions related to this topic will start playing right away. All right, we'll see you in the next video.